Cat Update. I'm Jenny James. And I'm Alex Sanchez. The Northwest baseball team headed down to Arkansas last week for their second trip of the season. Our reporter Jacob Barnes caught up with some of the players to see how the team is opening up their season. Jacob. The Northwest baseball team is back in the swing of things. I caught up with redshirt senior Mondesi Gutierrez and redshirt sophomore Aaron Easley to talk about their season so far. So far this year we're just young, a little bit inexperienced. We only have a few seniors starting in the field. Pitching wise we're pretty young, but right now we're uh, coming together after that first week. We start off the year two and five. Uh, our offense has really been coming around. Uh, we're swinging the bats well, we scored a lot of runs. Uh, what we learned from that two and five, that uh, we can handle any team. We just beat the number 13 team in the nation. Uh, which was huge, and uh, every game we lost, besides one of them, is by one or two runs, so we can compete with anybody. When asked about their goals for themselves and for the team, here's what they had to say. Personally, uh, I was looking to improve on my, my, just my all-around game, I guess, uh, being a consistent hitter, being consistent behind the plate and catching. Uh, I just want to be a leader this year. I'm a senior, 23 years old, been playing this game a long time. I just want to show the freshmen how to play the game right, hard, all the time, and uh, personally, I want to be on the first or second team rather than an honorable mention. After bringing in a conference title last spring, Mondesi and Aaron reflect on the differences between their 2018 team and this year's group of guys and talk about their hopes of going even further this time around. Uh, last year's team just had more uh, more aged. They were more mature. They were with the program for a longer period of time. Unlike this year, we're just very young in age. Conference, ten, uh, conference title we won last year. We definitely want to Win another one, and hopefully go and like win the tournament and make a regional this year. Reporting for Bearcat Update, I'm Jacob Barnes. Thanks, Jacob. The boys finished up round two of their Arkansas trip, four and six. Quinton Van Akron left with his first win of the season over Missouri St. Louis to snag their third win of the season. Funkhauser also left with his first win of the season against Rockhurst, leading the Bearcats to finish eight to two. The Cats fell in their third and final game of the trip to Missouri Southern, twelve to five. Quick, Hussey, Herlica, and Herrera have an on-base streak of 10 games. All four of them, plus Montessi Gutierrez, are on the top 10 in the conference in hits. They will be headed down to Oklahoma next week for a three-game series against Northeaster State. Baseball boys are just hitting the ground running, but the track and field team has been running all winter. The team just finished up the regular season prepping for the conference championship this weekend. Reporter Dylan Johnson talked with Omar Austin about the season so far. Dylan? Bearcat track and field is in the midst of their indoor season. One athlete in particular has come out of the blocks hard. He's impacted the team by, first of all, being a freshman and coming in and just taking it all by storm. And it, it's really cool to see that he really wants it. He wants to be great. Freshman sprinter Omar Austin has not only made his impact on the team, but in the record books as well. A 40 meter time I just ran last week was a 47.62. Hopefully I'll get 46 at conference. Uh, so this boy's moving. <laughs> uh, he's moving really good. Um, he ran it. I was, I was in the same heat as him, actually. And he got out really strong. And I was like, OK, I'm close to behind him. And he just kept going. And he came into another gear. It was really crazy to watch. I knew when I was running that I'm on the pace to break this record. And then when I did, it felt real good because like, I'm a freshman. But I feel like I could do more. Like, I got more in me. So it's like, I'm going to break it again. Austin has set the bar high, but has much more to accomplish before his clock expires here at Northwest just go a little bit harder. I feel like I never gave my all. Like, I feel like I've been doing good all season. I've been dominating, but I never just, like, gave my all. And I feel like this week, next week coming up, I'm just going to give my all. Stay in and keep working hard because he can, he can be great. <laughs> but an MIAA championship is not where Austin was to cross his finish line. Yeah, I want to go to the NCAA National Championship. I want to go there and I want to place top eight. I want to be first team All-American. I want to plaque and basically I just want to break a record out. Like, I want to do something I never did before. And that's it's in my reach. Reporting for Bearcat Update, I'm Dylan Johnson. Thanks, Dylan. They wrapped up the regular season at Kansas State this weekend. Jordan Hammond and Heba Magoob taking first and second in the 400-meter dash. The 4x4 also taking first. Alaya Lee took second in the 60-meter dash. Sassy Matson placed third in the 800 and Caroline fifth. Seth Shervington wouldn't let us down taking first in the 400. Cliff Nichols, Colin Welch, Jake Norris also taking first, second, and third in the 800. Northwest also took first in the 4x4 once again. Josh Warner took first in the shot put and Mason Gardner placing fourth in the weight throw. The Cats will be competing at home in the Hughes Fieldhouse this weekend for the indoor conference championships. But for now, we are going to take a quick break, but stick around. We're not quite done talking about track and field just yet. You're watching Bearcat Update on KWT Channel 8.
Welcome back to Bearcat Update. Although our Northwest runners are hitting personal best, so are the field events. Today on Bearcat Boulevard, we are joined by Haley Craig. Haley, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So I wanted to kind of talk about the new Hughes Fieldhouse facility. Uh, how has that been for you guys as a team to be able to use that facility? Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, for one, it like allows the team to practice as one. We're all in there together. And then for throwers um, specifically, it's really good because it's just like available to us at all times. The equipment's always there, and it's just really great for our practices. So yeah. And you guys are hosting the conference championships this weekend there. What does that mean to yeah. you guys to be doing That's that? That's awesome. Uh, home field advantage is always a good thing. Uh, we just feel really confident in our abilities there just because we practice every day. We're used to the equipment. We're used to everything there. So it's really exciting to have conference this year. We were kind of talking about uh, the high school and college difference. Yeah. So how was, how was the adjustment for you coming into college throwing? Uh, really good. Um, in high school, I was the only thrower on my team. So just the team aspect was like a big thing for me, and I really loved coming into that. Um, events specifically, so I was a glider and shot put in high school, and I came to college and I started spinning about a year ago, and it's been really well. I've increased about a meter on my personal best, so spinning's been working well for me. I'm just going to ask you, uh, what is it like balancing schoolwork and being a student athlete? I mean, I'm used to it. I, I was a three-sport athlete in high school, so oh, wow. I'm, I'm used to it, but it's just the same thing, like do your best in school, do your best in athletics and uh, it'll get you where you want to be. That's awesome. Well, that's all the time we have. Haley, thank you so much awesome. for joining us thank today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We are going to take a quick break, but stick around. We have more to come on Bearcat Update on KNWT Channel 8. <laughs> Welcome back to Bearcat Update. Our Northwest basketball teams were back in action this weekend. Our women's team took on the 2018 national champions on Wednesday. After a slow start, they closed the 17-2 gap, 233-29 at half. In the second half, the Cats were within four, but couldn't keep it up and fell to the Jennies, 78-67. Kendi Eaton scored a career high of 37 points, which is tied for third in Northwest history, four points in a game. The Cats took the court again on Saturday to take on Southwest Baptist. Kendi Eaton with 20 points and Mallory McConkey with 14 would not hold up. The Cats fell to Southwest Baptist Bearcats 73-54. The men's basketball team had the same competition this past week. Let's take a look at the highlights of the Central Missouri game. Diego Bernard drives to the hoop and hits Welty with a no-look pass for three to put Northwest up early. Trevor Hudgens adds to the mix, finishing a crafty double-clutch layup to keep the Bearcats in the game. Jafar Kinsey for UCM keeps the mules ahead after hitting the pull-up three to give UCM the lead at half, 28-26. The second half was a different story, however, as Ryan Hawkins nails a three to help the Cats pull away from the mules. Northwest cruises to a 67-50 victory over the UCM mules. On Saturday, the Cats shot 53.1% from the field, leading to a big 84-61 win over Southwest Baptist, extending the nation's longest win streak to 25 games. They take on the Mules again this Thursday, and with a win, they will lock up a share of the conference title. The Cats hold the last five conference titles and are looking to add another one to the list. One of our Northwest Bearcats is paving the way for the team to postseason play. Our BCU analyst walked 94 feet with redshirt freshman Trevor Hudgens. Let's see what he has to say. John? Thanks, guys. Down the court here with Trevor Hudgens. So, Trevor, we'll just jump straight into it. You guys are 24-0 and at this point and kind of heading down the home stretch of your season. You guys knew that, obviously, you were going to be pretty good coming into the year. Did you think you would be this good? Um, I think we got a lot of stuff to work on uh, still. Even at this point? Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, coming to postseason, I think uh, we still have to regroup and uh, still work on a couple things. And then, you know, you guys have lived by the three-point line this year. Well, that's one, been one of your strengths. Roughly 43% as a team. If you had to pick one person on the team to shoot a game-winning shot, who is it? Joey Withers. Joey? Yeah. And then you compare Joey to James Harden. Yeah. If you had to compare yourself to an NBA player, who would it be? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I've heard Mike Conley. I've heard Chauncey Billups. Um, that's about it. That's about oh, it? I, I, uh, yeah, I can't really take one off the top of the head. So there you have it, the Mike Conley of Northwest Missouri State University. Alex, Jenny, back to you guys. Thanks, John. Now Hodgins is on his way to setting a new conference record. He currently has made 33 consecutive free throws 
of which the current conference record is 36. If he can keep up, he has several more games to try and grab the record. Our softball girls were back in Arkansas this week and finishing up the Arkansas Monticello Tournament. On Saturday, they dropped Game 1 to Upper Iowa, 5-1. The Cats again came up short in Game 2 against Minnesota State, Mankato. Caitlin Wise hit a two-run home run to put the Bearcats up 2-0. Two to zero. Aaron Keeney with another homer followed by some nice hitting from the rest of the team to put the Cats up 6-2. to two. They could not hang on, although, and dropped the game to 8-7. to seven. The next day, the girls played two more games. Sunday, they took the morning game from Parkside 6-0, but dropped the game against Rogers State. They come back home with a 2-4 record. They will be heading to Kansas this weekend for the Emporia Tournament to compete in six more games. Now that's the end of our show, but first, let's take a look at our top picks for the week. Our Northwest track and field team is having a great season and has one more meet to finish indoor. There's nothing better than to have the conference championship right here at our very own Hughes Fieldhouse. Absolutely. The men's and women's tennis teams will be kicking off their season against Maryville University and Red Oak, Iowa. A lot of eyes will be looking at Franco Oliva after his third place finish at Nationals in the fall. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Bearcat Update. You can follow us on Twitter at BearcatUpdate underscore 8. Or watch all of our previous episodes on YouTube at KWT8. Thanks for watching and have a great night. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Bearcat Update. You can catch last week's episode up here or all of our previous episodes down here. Thanks for watching.